the low 90s on that four seamer. Here's the one two. And that one's waved at and missed upstairs, tipped into the glove. Malcolm's able to hang on for the third out of the inning. And a good pitch that time from Vincent. And it catches the outer half and has Gravel chasing that one. And that's going to be two outs now here in the top of the seventh. The man behind the plate for St. Joe's. And he's way late on that fastball that time. And he gets it by him for strike three. Vincent looks into his catcher, Malcolm. Comes to the set. Checks on A.O. Ward at second. Now the 0-2. Strikes him out looking to retire the side and that will do it here in the first leg of this twin bill. Eastern Connecticut versus St. Joe's as the Warriors win this one 5-4. The 1-2 now. Swung on and missed for strike three. Vincent opens up the game with a K swing in there for Eastern Connecticut. One down here in the first. And a 5-4 and 11-3 win against St. Joe's. And that one's in there for strike three. So two outs for Vincent coming by the way of the K. And that time Metzdorf goes down looking. Two down for Eastern Connecticut here in the first. Down the payoff pitch. Swung on and missed for strike three. And Vincent ends up striking out the side. Here's the one, two. And that one swung on and missed. So a fourth strikeout for Vincent here in the early stages. And he's able to fan fill in there. Now two quicks out, quick outs here in the top of the second. He's working quickly as well, the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed strike three. Make that five strikeouts for Vincent here to start the action for Eastern Connecticut. The 1-2. And that one is Ruth here tried to check his swing, some confusion. Malcolm gonna throw on the first. Now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed for a strike three. Make that six Ks on the evening for Vincent as the Warriors continue to roll here in their conference opener. As Richie Marika has struggled all day here today. Has had damage control the last three innings. And another strike out there for Vincent. Make that his eighth on the day as he continues to mow down these Panther hitters. Swung on and missed that try for strike three. Nine strikeouts now on the day. Four number 42. Vincent comes to the set, now the delivery. Swung on and missed that time for strike three. Now double digit strikeouts for number 42 in Maroon. He's got 10 of them, one down here in the fifth. 2-2 two -two now here to Wasilewski. Swung on and missed that time for strike three. Another Panther going down by the way of the K here. Make that 11 on the day for the big right-hander. Last game against Western Connecticut. A lot of availability in the pitching staff today. The pitch. On the outside corner for strike three. Vincent gets Ramirez looking. First strike out of the day for the big right-hander. Two down the first. That's going to catch the outside corner in there for strike three. So the second strike out here for Vincent today. Plant tomorrow trying to keep... Perron honest out there. Now the pitch. That's going to be in there for strike three. Gets Nell looking on that one. Third strike out of the day for Vincent. One out here in the fourth. Big swing and a miss that time on a curveball. In there for strike three. So another strikeout for Vincent. His fourth on the day. The first one swinging for UMass Dartmouth. Here comes the 2 2. And swung and a miss that time for strike three. Make that five on the day now for 42 in Maroon. One down here in the fifth. Vincent ahead of another Corsair batter here today. And that's been the trend throughout this one. Here it comes. Raising the ladder that time in there for strike three. So the eyes of Disarcina lit up that time. As Vincent climbed the ladder on that one. The 0-2 coming now. Swung on a miss for strike three. Another strikeout for Vincent, make that his seventh on the day as he continues to deal here, two down in the seventh. Three, two, two outs it is. Vincent ready, three, two. Trying to check his swing that time. They're gonna appeal down and he went.
Now Vincent is ready with the 3 2. Swung on a miss for strike three. Climbed the ladder a little bit that time. So another strikeout. Make that the second of the day for Josh Vincent. Two out here in the third. Strikeout numbers down for Vincent a little bit in this one. Here it is. But as soon as I say that, going to be swung on a miss. Throws going to down to second. But it's going to go into center field. It looked like Dahmer was aware of that. Now they're ready. The 0 2. Going to catch the outer half. Late strike call for strike three. As it was a late ring up that time as Vincent was able to paint the outer half. As Vincent and Malcolm even turned back toward the home plate umpire to make sure that was for strike three. And it was. He's ready. The wind up and the 3 2. And that one trying to catch the outer half, and Vincent's able to get it. And that time, Malcolm learned his lesson, and he held that pitch there for a little longer. And Vincent's able to strike him out here. And he smiles, heading back to the Eastern Connecticut dugout. Here it is. That's going to be on the inner half, in there for a strike three. As he gets Domber looking, first time he's had to walk back to the dugout here today. Big out for Vincent. Two outs in the sixth. Vincent on the mound, will let at the plate the 3-2 ready from Vincent. One on a miss for strike three, climbing the ladder that time as Vincent strikes out another one here, his seventh of the day for the big right-hander. Thought he was able to get Seymour out looking there, but he's now ready with the 3-2. Taking off a Troiano on the pitch, trying to do a strike him out, throw him out, but in safe is Troiano. Oh, they actually got him down there at second. So a strike him out, throw him out, double play here. The one two coming from Vincent. Swung on and missed that time for strike three. One down here in the second. The one two coming. Swung on and missed for strike three. Snap throw down to first to White. But diving back in safely is Vasaski. So Comalanen goes down by the way of the K. One out here in the third. Vincent works with the one two here. Big swing and a miss that time from Luke's. A back to back strikeout here for Vincent. So after that leadoff walk, Vincent settles in here for a second out here in the third. Triano steps back in here. Soski stands at first. Vincent, the one-two coming. Swung on and missed that time for strike three, and Vincent ends up striking out the side after that leadoff walk. Loses his hat one more time, but that retires the Huskies here in the third. Vincent looks in to Malcolm. The windup, the three-two coming. And that one's going to catch the outer half in there for strike three. Sixth strikeout of the day for Josh Vincent. Can't give him a good pitch to hit here. Here comes the 0-2. Swung on and missed for strike three as Vincent gets Seymour to go down swing to end the sixth inning for Eastern Connecticut. So number 42 and White continues to roll in this one. The pitcher's duel here today, the 1-2. Swung on and missed for strike three. Another strikeout for Josh Vincent. As you can pen that one in as his eighth of the day. Now two gone in the seventh. Corner still shaded in. Marika and Plant tomorrow play at double play depth up the middle, the 0-2. And that one going to catch the outside corner for strike three. A big strike out there from Josh Vincent. One down here in the eighth. Now Vincent looks in. He's ready, the 0-2. Swung on a miss for strike three. He's able to get out of it. And it's Josh Vincent, good damage control after loading the bases, only giving up two runs. And their bats trailing by five here in the bottom of the first. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Josh Vincent gets his first strikeout. An absolute heater of a pitch to strike out to Castro. Those are two of the best teams in conference, but Rick has slowly gotten their way into second place. As Josh Vincent gets a nice strikeout. So the 2 2. That's going to be called strike three. Josh Vincent with another strikeout, and he continues the deal. 2-2. Vincent gets his second strikeout of the inning, his fourth on the day. And he is taking care of business. Castro and Castle just trying to find their way to get their offense started. It's been very quiet. They haven't done anything, really. That one's going to be called strike three. Another strikeout for Josh Vincent. He continues the deal. Yeah, Vincent, obviously in the back of his mind, trying to keep that perfect game alive, and he does. Swing and a miss, strike three. Vincent just absolutely dealing. Four innings pitch, and no runner has been on base for Castleton. 
Vince is just absolutely going off right now for the Warriors. So now one, two. Sam Rodriguez. Able to bring him up on a third strike. Right, not much of a signal at all, but it is a strikeout for Josh Vincent as he gets another one. You've seen it today. <laughs> Vincent strikes out another one here. His eighth. Not allow this rally to continue for Castleman. 0 2. Cold strike V. Josh Vincent getting his ninth strikeout. He is absolutely just playing one of his best games of the season. So far for Eastern baseball team. Vincent head of count here, 0-2. Oh, swing and a miss, another strikeout for Josh Vincent. Been saying that a lot today, but he gets another one, and now he's in the double digit column with 10 strikeouts. So Vincent looking to have a clean first hitter here, the one two. Swung on a miss for a strike three. Vincent leads off the game with a strikeout. Here comes the two-two. And that one's going to be in there for strike three. So back to back strikeouts for Vincent to start things here in the first two down. Swung on and missed for strike three. Another strikeout for Vincent, his third on the day. One out down in the third. Trying to get Laskowski out here. Here comes the 3 2. Swung on and missed that time for strike three. Vincent happened to work a little bit to the eight and nine hitters in the lineup, but he picks up his third and fourth strikeouts of the day. Two down here in the third. 1-2 from Vincent. And trying to check his swing as De Francisco, he's not able to. So Malcolm going to throw on to first. And just like that, Josh Vincent retires the side all by the way of the K. Not even a lot of balls in play so far for the Owls in this one. Here comes. That one swung on and missed there for strike three. The sixth K of the day for Josh Vincent. As he continues to fan Owls here in this one. One down here in the fourth. Vincent trying to get out of this one. Here it is. Paint in the outer half in there for strike three. Another strikeout for Josh Vincent as he continues to mow down the owls in this one as they have had no answer for him. 3-2. And that one going to be catching the inside corner in there for strike three. And another strikeout for Josh Vincent as he continues to dominate here in this one. His eighth K of the day now. Now here comes Vincent's 1-2. Trying to check his swing and a peel down to the first base umpire. They're going to say he went as John Kosick having to make a tough decision on that one. And he says Rodriguez goes around. 3-2. And that one's going to catch the outer half in there for strike three. So another strikeout for Josh Vincent as he strikes out 10 owls so far here through five innings of work. He continues to dominate here in this one. Now, going to peel down to first, and they say he went. So, Vincent going to get a big strike out there that time. And finally gets the first out here in the second inning. Now that one swung. It's going to get away from Malcolm. It's going to roll over to the Eastern Connecticut dugout. A look into his catcher, Malcolm. He goes to the windup, the one-two. Pink in the inner half, in there for strike three is Vincent. Starts things off with his first K of the day here to the Southern Main lineup. Two gone now here in the Southern Main first. And trying to get out of this inning, the 2 Swung on and missed that time for strike three is Vincent. Ends up having a clean inning, striking out two of the three outs here in this first inning. We'll see what he does here, going back to the windup in the three-two. He's able to paint the outside corner in there for strike three. Third strikeout of the day for the big right-hander. One he raced here in the Southern Main second. So Luxa behind as have the rest of the Southern Main Huskies been the 0-2. On the outside corner, back-to-back -back strikeouts and the fourth of the day here for Vincent. Two quick outs here in the Husky second. Slowly to the set and the 1-2. Flung on a miss that time for strike three as Vincent climbs the ladder once again. That time he's able to get Pike for his fifth strikeout of the day. So Vincent ends up retiring the side after that two out walk as we head to the third. One, two. Swung on a miss that time as he climbs the ladder there once again and Troiano goes down swing for the second time here today for the sixth K of the day for Vincent. Two erase now here in the Southern Main third. Vincent trying to retire Lux, so here it is. 
big swing and a miss on an off speed there that time from Vincent as he comes up empty on it. Seventh strikeout of the day for 42 in Maroon. One erased here in the fourth. Here comes the full count. That one gonna catch the outer half in there for strike three. Hapworth can't believe it. But he's gonna go down as the eighth strikeout victim of the day here for Josh Vincent. Two gone now in the fourth. Here it is. Swung on and missed for strike three as Vincent continues to fan the Huskies his ninth strikeout of the day to conclude the fourth inning there. Talked about he's already struck out twice. Now on the verge of a third one here in this one. Vincent comes to the set, the 0-2. Swung on and missed that time and Vincent's able to get out of it. Tenth strikeout of the day for Vincent through five innings as he gets Troiano for the third time. And now that one's going to be swung on and missed. Comalina trying to check his swing, isn't able to. The 11th band Husky of the day here for Vincent. One squared away here in the seventh. Vincent on the verge of a 12th strikeout, the one-two. Swung on and missed that time for strike three as Vincent gets him to go down by the way of the K once again. The 12th band Husky of the day for the big right-hander. It's a season high, Jared. Season high for Vincent. As we'll take another look at that one off speed, just falls off the table for Vincent once again to retire the side.